guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 Early Access and I am back probably to go to Keel Canal again. I'm not 100% certain if that's what I want to do just yet. I've had a few people ask about some other places since I've got better gear maybe I should go back and check them out you know using the gear that I have now. Um, I don't know. I mean, let Nisco, that's really good for the carp. Jackson County, you know, United States, that was good for uh, rainbow trout and quite a few other species that I couldn't catch when I first got in there. But, I don't know, Keel Canal just has so much right at the moment. And I think I just really want to come back here, just at least for this episode. So do this for me, guys. If you want to see something in the earlier in earlier maps uh, let me know what it is and I will I will go back there I'm trying to figure out what apparently I didn't get a quest completed or I didn't account for it I do that all the time which is stupid <laughs> but yeah I think we're gonna go ahead go back to Keel Canal might check out a different fishing location all right guys we are here at keel canal i'm not sure what peg we started out at let me make sure yeah three is seems to be the one that you always start at which doesn't make a lot of sense because you think it would be number one but no i think there no wait a minute i'm down here at five that's where my little arrow is i thought it was here at three all right i think this is the gist guys i am going to see if i can't get an eel and I do know this much. Eels are usually caught in the evening or at night. Probably evening would be best. We're going to stick with clear sky. I am going to go over here to the third marker because that's where I caught one off screen. The only time I caught one, <laughs> of course. And we're going to try over here because this is where I caught my first eel. In fact, I think I caught two off screen when I was testing out Keel Canal. Now that was when Keel Canal only had three spawn points so I don't know how much or if they've changed anything but I'm gonna come out here because I was basically out here on this rock throwing right under the bridge and that is where I got an eel. Now let me see what we have inventory here wise. Alright let's see for our, I don't have anything in my set first set Okay, that's weird. I'm going to have to change that. That was my float rod set. Well, let me see here. This is pretty much what I think I will fit, be using to fish for them. The uh, ass spoon. Because that is the only thing I've been able to catch them off of so far. And I caught them when I went off screen. Again, I keep saying off screen. But yeah, I do a lot of fishing off screen too, just to get levels. Uh, I don't know if any of this is too heavy, but I've got the 7 gram Robinson S spoon, and I've got some floral classic line, so it's kind of like not noticeable by the fish. I don't know if it matters with the eels so much. Uh, heavy duty reel at 39.9 pounds. This is the UFE Baltera Batera 10,000R, and the UFA Leader point one two to one kilogram this uh, basically makes it 17.64 pounds that's as heavy as I can go with that and keep it under that you want the leader this is one of the key things guys you want the leader to be less than the line you want the line to be less than the reel and the rod especially the rod but it is a little close on that because it is on the rod about 16.01 pounds so I have to be careful but that's the heaviest duty rod I have right now so big fish here are quite a bit bigger so we'll go ahead and choose that one it is number three now I'm hoping that these guys act like they're supposed to and be caught in the evening and at night. That's usually when you catch eels, in the evening and at night, not in the middle of the day. 
which is where they start you by default. You can change that. What is it jumping around so much for? I'm having a few lag issues again. Uh, yeah. Okay, it only seems when I'm moving. Well, I'm just going to have to watch it. Anyway, we're going to cast this out there and see if we can't find an eel. And I'm sure we will probably see some Wells catfish under there. I'm going to let that thing drop all the way to the bottom. Speed is at 18%. Drag is at 40% probably okay for the drag speeds probably yeah it could go up a little bit maybe let's take it up to 22 percent just make sure that over there on the right that little lure symbol that, that's just above it, that little thing that says straight oh shoot yeah just make sure that that is green looks like we've got us uh, I think it's a Xander. Not 100% certain, but I think it is a Xander. Alright. Am I reeling this thing in? Hold on, let me change my camera view. Not sure why I'm not increasing my speed when I press the button. Oh, it's control. I'm sorry. Uh, some others, it's alt. I keep getting them mixed up. I'm hitting shift. I think in yeah, it's in the angler. It's shift. Yeah, let me see what this guy is here. It's a European bass. Okay, that's not a bad looking fish new personal record. He's still only a star though. We'll keep him. That's not a bad start. Evening should be a good time for fishing in general. Alright. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of lag issues. I really wish the Geoforce would sync up with this game because I think it would probably optimize it much better. Still got a little bit of lag issues with certain situations. I think a lot of that has to do with the shaders and how they're set, but usually the kinks work out as you're playing the game. It's like it's got to get everything together, I guess. I don't know. Looks like there's a lot of species here that are going to be interested in it. That one doesn't seem to be, but let me look behind the lure and see if there's anything swimming up on it. Or any spawnage. It's really dark under here. Really good environment for the eel. I think I got a fish swimming up on it, but I'm not 100% certain. Let me see here. Yep. Well, yeah, yeah, he is. Uh, he is. Well, he changed his mind. Uh, not that time. All right. Well, they really did change the way this looks considerably. I think I might try a little further over here. I might have been right under the bridge when I caught that. Let's throw it over there towards the light and bring it under the bridge. Okay, that has a pretty good cast. <laughs> I'm way over there. Okay, see we got a fish to spawn right there. Now that you actually got to see it happen, so that was pretty cool. Okay, we've got... that's a Wells catfish. Not a big one, but it is a Wells catfish. I want to get one of those big suckers. Yeah, 
There we go. Got us a perch. That's a nice perch. Actually, that might be a personal best, to be honest. Let me see how big he is. Come on. There we go. Yes, it is a personal record. European perch. 4.24 pounds. I knew he was good size. I think, yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad looking fish. Two stars. So that's so far the best that I've gotten, honestly. I don't think I've gotten better than a one star so far. I've gotten some big fish, but apparently there's some monsters in here somewhere. Big European perch. Now, what is that back in the back there? You can kind of see him in the upper right of the screen. I think what I might do is I might kind of do a stop and go thing. That way it doesn't go to the top so quickly. I might try another lure here just to see what I get I think that's a that might be a barbel just to see what will go for it but I'll show you here just a minute if I don't get anything what is is that uh, I think that's a small sturgeon Yeah, there's some kind of a gar in here, but I haven't been able to get one yet. I think I need to be able to get, like, some live minnows or something before I'm going to get them interested in anything I've got. Alright, let's change that lure, guys. Let's see if we can't get some action on this. And we did get a decent perch and a decent European bass. What else can we get here, guys? We've got lots of lures here that we can work with. There was one in particular. Do I still have it? I don't think I see it here. Yeah, here it is. Okay. The Robinson Trophy 14. It is the pink one. I did really well with it over on Slovakia. So, see what the heck goes for it here. I might be getting some codfish off of this or Atlantic salmon because they did go for it heavily on Slovakia so and there's a codfish right there and a whale's catfish I'm getting quite a bit of cash going here but I need to come up with probably a better place to go. Yeah, they don't really have any statistics or... Uh, not statistics. They don't really have anything on the fish themselves in here as far as when's the best times, where, what the best lures to use are. Eels, I know what I would catch them with on uh, Fishing Planet, but I don't have the right stuff there. Now I did see some eels over here but I couldn't get any of them to bite. But I also wasn't fishing at night either so I might go back to that lure and see if I can't get their attention this time. And if I can't, I might switch to night see if they will go then. I haven't done nine fishing here at all yet. That's something that's completely completely new. I hope there's gonna be enough light. That's the only thing I can say. So I hope there's enough light. If there isn't and it was in Slovakia, so we'll see. Yeah, we're really shallow here, so we don't have much of an issue about it getting it down to the bottom. Yeah, I'm going to keep it at that speed. I 
And I was sure that I saw eels over here. Speed down a little bit. She's just reeling in so fast that they can't get a good. Now he's gonna go and get it. Yep. That's another European bass. I'm starting to recognize him now, even underwater. There we go. I don't know if he's a new record or not, but we'll see. No, but he's a decent fish. $106. You can't beat that. They are really good cash. So, I mean, if you want to grind for some money, this is really the, a good spot here. Several good spots, though. Yeah, someone said that taking part of the tournaments is also a good way to make cash. Now, see, there's one of those... There's an eel. That's, I think that's an eel. Or a gar. No, that's a gar. What in the world did gar go for? Come on. You don't, you don't want that? He doesn't want that. Hmm. That's one I haven't caught yet, guys. That is one I want to get. Just got to figure out what he... Oh, yeah. See, look. Look at my look at my lure. It is not green at all. Now, let's turn it up to 18. Now, it turns green. Now, see, that's what's supposed to make it enticing. And that can be different for different lures. Usually, now regular gar, not whatever this kind is. Okay, there comes a codfish. No, that's a whale's catfish. Regular gar usually go for crankbaits. So I might try a crankbait. Now we know where they are. I hope this is a decent size one. I've been getting some real little bitty whale's catfish. I mean, just. You know, little, little bitty fellas. Yeah, see? 6.26 pounds. Of course, he looks a lot smaller, but that's tiny for Bell's catfish. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a baby. Let's see. I know. You gotta try different things, guys. It's like, okay, what do they want? What do they want? They want crankbaits. Now, let's see, this is, that's a minnow, I'm pretty sure. I think the only crankbaits that I have here are Dosukus, and I think I might have lost that one. I see, it might not be a bad idea to try one of these rigged worms, too. That could entice it. Yeah, we've got this Sukus, we can try it. Now, this is definitely a crankbait. We need to throw it right exactly where we were, because that's where that garfish was. Okay, there is a... Oh yeah, he's... That's a European trout. Come on, come on. Yeah, the only problem with this is that we're going to be getting a lot of other species interested in it too. Okay, we're going to need to take our drag up just a bit. There we go, that's better. If you can't, you can also hit the plus, but that takes it in increments of 10, so that may be a little much. Alright, 
let's get him in. He's actually giving me a bit of a fight, so this guy may be decent sized. I'm hoping for a personal best with this guy, but he is... Let's see. Let me change the perspective here. Yeah, he's out 165 feet, and he is still gaining. We may have a decent fish here. I bet he's going to bring in some cash and XP. Let me see if I can. Okay, there he comes. Yeah, the underwater camera looks really good, but sometimes when I'm fighting them, I just have to bring it to the surface. I just can't do it underwater. I can't see what I'm doing with my rod. I can't see which way he's going. So I need, if I need to shift things, I can't do that. Obviously, if he's taking it out, there's no reason to be reeling. But I think he's... I better watch him, though. He could bolt. And that's exactly what he's trying to do now. Let's see here. All right. We got him. Ooh. New personal record. Sea Trout. 32.05 pounds, $303.72. He's still a single star, guys. That is a single starfish. <laughs> wow. Single starfish. I cannot believe that. Yeah, let's take the drag back down to about 34. Still have not seen any eels. Nice. Okay, we're not doing real wood with the speed here. And yeah, this really needs to be faster. Not that fast, but. He doesn't seem all interested in this. There's a sturgeon. Yep. I knew he was going to go for it. When they start looking spastic like that, they're they're interested. Ooh, he's he's not a bad one. He's not bad. Now we got to keep him from going behind those rocks. So we need to go to the right. Oh boy. Come on. Come on, big guy. Come on. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Don't you dare do it. Okay, let me go back out to here. I need to see what I'm doing here. Okay. Yeah, he's alright. He's alright. Come on, big guy. Let's see how big you are. Nah. 17 pounds. He's probably worth more to release uh, I've been fishing over here quite a bit let's check the map again well, I always want to hit escape let's check the map again so we're here at 1 we've been at 2 before let's go back here to 5 that's that island and we were able to catch quite a few things over there by the dam off this bridge. I just got to figure out where in the heck the interesting fish are. Love the Viking boat. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Okay, this is more towards the sea, so we might have a better chance of getting some big fish this direction. Let's just throw this out here and see what's around. It's not saying that anything's going to go for it. I just want to see what's swimming in these waters here. It seems like there's a lot of underwater debris and a lot of it man made. Now, what are those? 
What are those? Too far to tell. Okay, that that might be interesting. Let me might need to cast here a few times and try a few things, but there's something cool over there. I just don't know what they are. Alright, I'm gonna look around and see if I see any activity, but I really am not. And to be perfectly honest, the evening is not being as fruitful as I'd hoped. All right, let's try. Let's try switching to night. All right. I think. Yep. F gets you your flashlight. Let's see. Should we go to something? different see the thing about the lures they don't tell you what goes for these lures this is barba grub it's a basic ko1 that doesn't tell you much you know it's like okay what goes for this stuff classic twist I would think shrimp would be a natural thing for some of these things to go for. And in Fishing Planet, that's exactly what the eels went for. They went though for those and minnows. Well, let's go back to this set. Let's get ourselves our Telerod back. Let's see, what does it go to? Oh, huh. Do we have one that we can use? Okay, this one needs repair. That's probably why I didn't have it anymore. Eh, it's not a bad rod. It's not ideal size, but let's keep let's keep it around. Wait a minute. 7.05 might be pushing it with this, but we'll try it. We'll try it. Yeah, it's it's pushing, but I think we'll be alright as long as we use this. And I think I'm going to use a little... Well, we don't need a river float. I think that will probably work. And what type of hook? Let's go with an 8. That's kind of a good size to start with. I am going to try these daggone shrimp. I just... I just believe that they're going to work. If I can find the darn fish that I'm interested in catching. Now the question is, how do I change the leader length on this damn thing? Okay, the drag definitely has to come down. Probably 28% would be better. Oh, here we go, leader length. You just go up to that. Let's put it right at about... almost a meter. Okay, right at a meter. That's perfect. So it's 3.28 feet. Let's just toss it out there and see if anything seems interested. Um, it's pretty dark. There's one of those garfish. Okay. So they are here. Let's 
something is coming for it. Head on. It looks like it is a salmon, I think. That's not surprising, honestly. Okay, he's going to be a bit of work. This is not a heavy duty rod, so I'm going to have to fight him. Ooh, he is. Yeah, I need to get it back up to the surface. I need to be able to see what I'm doing here. Watch my drag. Not doing too bad, so he must not be really, really big. Are that well maybe not. I don't know. Okay, let's pop the drag up just a little bit. Rather he didn't snap my line, but okay, I'm still bringing him in. But there were definitely gar out there. What did they go for in this game? Take the drag up a little bit more. He's bigger than he looks. A little bit more. Yeah, see, he's starting to, to put pressure on this this gear now. Oh yeah, he's definitely, he's fighting back now. He's like, oh wait a minute, something's got me. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah, he's, he's figured it out. He's figured out he's caught. Now he's starting to fight. He's not having any of this. We're just kind of getting tired. I'm going to take the drag up one more notch. He's still making headway. Sometimes that's an effective way to pull them in if they're just not seeming to really move closer. Just watch, watch those red lines. Don't make make sure it doesn't get too rough on your gear. That's all you got to do when you're making, you know, when you're doing this. But it will work. It will get them in. See, so I've already got him down to 43, 38. 34 27 Atlantic salmon. Now I caught that on seven pound test, guys. Seventeen pound fish. That's not too bad. Not bad at eighty one sixteen. So they do go for the shrimp. It does not say that Atlantic salmon go for it, but they do. So we just discovered that. That's a good discovery, to be honest. Still want those darn gar fish. They were way out there. The thing is, 
Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, you know you want it. Come on. Come on. Please, come on. Come on. That's one right there. <laughs> He's not interested. What do you want, you damn fish? What is it that you want? What do you want from me, damn it? <laughs> what do you want from me, fish? Uh, yeah. Obviously, that is not what they go for. Hmm. Well, hell. Let's pop that dude. What do we have here? What do we have to work with? We know they don't go for shrimp. I don't see them going for anything but meat. Cut bait, something of that nature. We don't have any of that. I doubt they go for cheese. That seems like a barbell type thing. Maybe tinch. Let's go to the shop. Okay, here's our baits. Now, I'm thinking what they might be going for, guys, and this is probably the case. I'm thinking... bleak and snails it says predators we haven't gotten enough levels to get that I'm at level 17 I'm getting close good bait for many species of fish this is a liver crucian eyed roach and even tench doesn't it's also used to catch eel and catfish yeah, I just have this feeling that that's what we're going to need. We're going to need liver, bleak, and snails. We cannot use them. We don't have the levels to get them. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. And I don't think they're going to go for any of those. And they don't tell you about lures, whether they do or don't go for any of the lures. The yeah, lures do not make any indication as to what fish go for them. We've already found out what some of some lures they go for, but and it looks like I have unlocked a few more of the minnows. So we've got these chopsy minnows that might be worth looking into. I want to get another one of these. I lost mine. Uh, flat foxy minnows. I have no idea. Here's some other suscus. We've got these are bigger ones. There's a go one. Here's some frogs. Here's some more of the trophy spoons. There's a lot of good choices here. I just don't know what goes for what of these species. There's so many choices here. Hmm. Well, guys, tell me. If anybody can in the comments, what do the eels go for lure-wise? Because I'm pretty sure what I need bait-wise. I just have to get three more levels to get it. But what do they and the the um, what do they in the long nose gar well I want to say long nose gar that's what we have around here what do they in the gar go for I mean they've got to go for something that I can get access to here it has to be something I mean maybe not maybe I'm wrong but We've got all kinds of spoons and spinners and soft lures and frogs and minnows and tons of these different types of crankbaits. Here's some crankbaits I haven't even tried. The UFA Fishy G. <laughs> I can't get that yet. Here's the 
Robinson Aspects 70mm. No idea if they'll go for that. I am going to buy this gold black one. It just looks good. <laughs> it looks good. I'm just frustrated because I really want to get an eel or a gar, and I can't seem to to get one. So I'll tell you what, let's go back, we'll go to morning this time. Let's go over to four. Now we're heavily over here in this area. I'm going to try my new Seuss Goose. I've got a couple of new ones here. I've got, I've had that one. This is the heaviest one I've got. So, this is a 14 gram lure. Kind of like to see what this might attract. 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 Let's see what this attracts, if anything. Let's throw it over this way. Okay. Speed's probably good. Drag's probably all right. said early morning not sure what we're gonna get here we've got somebody interested boom and I can't really tell what he is just yet but I think it's a sea trout but He went for that almost immediately. He wasn't too hard to get in. Don't think we're breaking any records here, but we'll see how what he looks like. Yep, yeah, he is a sea trout. Good cash for them. Good cash, good XP. Let's throw it a little bit this way. See if we can get in a new area. He came. That's not a bad Wells catfish. This one's a little bit better than I've seen. Okay, you gotta watch it. Yeah, he's 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 not too bad. Let's see how big he is. Yeah, that's that's. I was gonna say he's got to be a personal record for me. Still, 18 pounds. That is still a baby, guys. That's still a baby. We've got a long ways to go. I need the XP, so I'm letting him go. If he was bigger, I might hang on to him, but... This is probably going to have to be our last fish, but God, I'm sorry guys, I still haven't got that eel and I still haven't got a gar. Those are my fish of interest. I seriously want to get one of those. 
I've seen plenty of them. They just don't seem to be going for the stuff I'm using. And like I said, I don't think I have access to it yet. But if there is a lure, which there's plenty of lures here, guys. There's just so many. That you guys have had success with catching these, let me know. The only thing I've ever caught an eel off of was that ass spoon. And I don't know if it was like the right time of day or maybe it was when this game was still kind of young because it was when there were still only three spawn points on this map and since then they've added you know like three more and they've changed a lot of the behavior of the fish there's another there's another codfish so, so I don't know no it's not a codfish that's a sea trout I'm sorry for a minute there you look like a codfish He is going to probably bring me some good cash here, so we're definitely going to get him in. Yep, 133. Yeah, they are definitely good cash. Good cash. Uh, just for giggles, I am going to try that for one more time. It is morning, so maybe. I don't know. Really want one. Really want an eel. Dag nabbit. Want an eel. Yeah, I just don't know if that was a fluke or what it was, but we can't let that get onto that rock. Alright, fella. You got it. Alright, what do you... I think this actually might be an asp. <laughs> That's what the spoon's made for. <laughs> yep, I believe it is. It's actually caught an asp with an ass spoon. Yep, there it is. That's what you catch with ass spoons. Yeah, he's not. He's only a single star, eight dollars. We're gonna release him. Not much from him, honestly. They're fairly easy to catch. Yeah, when they start getting really large, then they start kind of close. I always do that. When they start getting really large, that's when they start bringing in some cash and XP. But he was a he was a little fella. There we go. Now, is that another asp? If it is, he's a lot bigger. It might be European bass though. Nah, I think he's a bass. Yeah, I think he's a European bass. Good cash. Yep. Yeah, 137. Yeah, definitely good cash. These guys are really good cash for their size. Yeah, and he's he only gives a little bit more XP, but if you keep him, get you to level 18 is what that does. <laughs> Good. And I got a skill point. It's about time. Dang on it. A five minute XP boost. Well, I might want to take advantage of that, guys. I know this has already gone kind of long, but seriously, might want to take advantage of that. I don't think. Can I get to the skill tree? Yeah, I can. Okay. Well, we want the dodger. What? Oh, look, we get to open up, guys. Check this out. Eagle Eye aids to the purview of 
per but up adds to preview ability which allows you to see all the fish swimming in the water the preview lasts five seconds and has a cooldown of four minutes ha ha now how do I initiate that I think it's V I think it's for V for vision no is it H Wait a minute. Uh. It's V. Hmm. He's up pressing the V key. Uh. It's not working. Ah, shoot. I don't know. It's not working for me, guys. I don't know why. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I really wanted to see that work. But let's try to get a little bit of our XP boost here. Maybe we can get something really big and really desirable there we go I think that's another asp yep it's an asp might be a decent sized one this time though let me see here he's putting a little bit of a pressure on that line compared to that first one Yeah, he's he's a little bit better. Let's see what he is here, guys. Yeah, and that's not a bad asp. I mean, he's not like a monster, but he's not bad. Look at that, fifteen fifty-five. So we got additional XP for just a little while. We'll be getting that. Still don't know what's up with that V thing. Thought I was gonna have the vision. Maybe I have to have the other one to make it work. I was definitely pressing the V key, so I don't know what the deal is. Let's see, do I have any leeches? Yeah, it's going to be my final hurrah here, guys. I know I keep saying that, but obviously, I don't have any. I guess I don't. Well, I'm going to get some. So, did I open up anything else new? Still don't have snails. Let's give it a shot. What the hell else? What the hell? You know, we got nothing to lose by trying it. Well, we did a little bit of cash, but still. A lot of fish go for this. Leeches were kind of a go to for me for a lot of things. If. I mean, either chicken livers or leeches were so so good for channel catfish. But the good thing about leeches is you could fish for them for such a long time. And they were very, very durable. They didn't break down in the water. They Obviously, they live in water, so they just kind of... Well, as you can see, it's moving. So it's kind of enticing to the fish. Now the problem is getting past the fact that you got to put one on a hook, but they've got very, very, very tough skin, almost like shoe leather tough. So once you get one on the hook, they're not coming off easily. So you rarely lose them. That's why I really like them because if you got five or ten of them, you were pretty good for the night for fishing for catfish. No joke.
There we go. Looks like we got us a Xander there. And that is not surprising. In Fishing Planet, they go for it as well, so that is kind of to be expected. And he's a big fella. He's a big fella. Let's see just how big this guy is. Yeah, this is going to have to be our last hurrah, guys, because we are really getting a long video, but I love this game a lot. I really do. Get a lot of questions about which is better. This or Fishing Planet. Fishing Planet is still better, in my opinion, but this is a lot of fun. Also, for a lot of different reasons. Now, see, in this case, I would go with the cash. Cash is 53, and you only get a little, like, what, 15 extra XP for releasing him? Yeah, keep him. Alright, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. I just really need more levels. I think that's what it boils down to. Unless you guys got some pointers, if you found other things or other locations to fish from, still don't understand why I can't use V. It will not work. I don't know what I'm doing wrong pressing it nothing's happening well as I always say guys aim straight cast far and have fun and I will see you later bye bye